this dude is off the chain. You know, I've had so many chances to watch this movie, but I never did. Mostly because I didn't want to. But thank God that Tubi exists. Because I was not going out of my way to find this movie. Released in 2003, Gang of Roses is a western. Sort of. Its main cast consists of a few well-known black actresses from around this time period. Monica Calhoun, Lisa Ray, Lil' Kim, Stacey Dash, Marie Matiko, who, um, I don't know who this is. <laughs> this film is the product of Jean-Claude Lamar, who wrote and directed the film. He's just like Robert Townsend or Chris Stokes. A veteran of these low budget black casted movies. That means they're just as bad. The main complaint I've seen from reviews of this movie is the bastardization of the time period. Gang of Roses takes place in 1894. So, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for characters to have weave or make questionable fashion choices. And yeah, there shouldn't be any Chinese people in the middle of Central America around this time. But movies, TV shows, books, whatever you're creating gives you the liberty to write whatever the hell you want. So if John claude Lemaire wanted to write a western with trendy sisters, God bless him. Too bad the movie sucks. You got a right to pick a little fight with wrestlers. Somebody wants to pick a fight with us, he better bite my ass. Let's start with the Rose Gang. A name they never give any background on. Rachel, played by Monica Calhoun. She's the former leader of the Rose Gang who went dark on her friends after a bank heist left an innocent person dead after her sister Sally is killed by a gang of misfits led by Bobby Brown, <laughs> which is a crazy sentence. Rachel picks up her guns to take revenge. She'll also have to recruit her old gang, all of whom have one character trait. <laughs> Lisa Ray as Mariah, who's good with knives. Okay. Chastity, who's horny. I feel about men the same way you feel about money. So much of it, so little time. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Her boyfriend OG Bobby Johnson tries to rob her, only to get packed and smoked. Hey bro, you're supposed to be dead. Stop breathing. Oh, by the way, I was faking it. Oh, oh honey, no. Her acting does not get better from here. Marie Matiko as Zhang Li, who they never addressed by name. I had to go on IMDB to figure that out. Her whole thing is wise man quotes. Uh, flow like water and all of that fortune cookie nonsense. And just listen to this. Come on, man. Y'all had to give the only Asian person here a gong. Why not just have a dude with a xylophone go? Ding, 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 ding. He had to leave him behind when Stan came home early one day. My husband is always coming early. And last but not least, is Stacy Dash as Kim, the loose cannon. Boo! Give it a rat! Beat it! They don't go into any further detail about these girls. No real backstory, no future motivations. What's funny is that they wait until after Kim dies to try and give her a backstory. Some men raped and killed her mother. That watch was all she had to remember her back. Kim was left a watch as a keepsake, a watch that was never mentioned beforehand, so why should I care? And dude, I could not stop laughing at Lisa Ray here, who looks like she's about to bust a gut at any second. Like, she literally has to cover her mouth and bite her lip in the middle of what's supposed to be a heartbreaking scene. I need to know what happened here, because this is ridiculous. You got a right to pick a little fight with wrestlers. Somebody wants to pick a fight with us, he better bite my ass. You may be wondering why I made a dedicated section to the writer and director. Well, John claude Lamar, 
Lamar, La Marie, whatever the hell his name is. Bull is on Master Roshi time in this movie. His character Babyface is a member of Bobby Brown's gang who took over the town of Flat Reach. He and Chastity get to talking when the Rose gang comes into a bar and they hit it off. Tomorrow. They inside of a barn getting freaky. Obviously Chastity has trust issues with relationships and this is how she describes it. When I break up, I really break up. How old are you niggas just making this shit, bro? But all of her worries go out the window because he got her a cheap ass necklace. The love scene here is pretty tame. Nothing explicit, mostly just kissing and licking. And John Claude La 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 over here was savoring every second of that scene. Which brings me to my point. As a man, the writer or director of a movie should never put themselves into a sex scene. It makes you look really creepy. On top of that, when Chastity dies towards the end of the movie after walking into an open area in the middle of gunfire like an idiot, Babyface is mourning his lost love. Mariah shoots him and look at how this fool dies. Seriously, man, like, this is so childish. I like to go on IMDb to find any fun facts about the movie. You know, take anything you read with a grain of salt. But I found this one very interesting. John claude Lamar was going to cast a different actor to play Babyface Malone, but couldn't find one. So he decided to play the role himself. Oh, I'm sure he couldn't find anybody to be Lil' Kim's love interest. Get the fuck out of here. You got a right to pick a little fight with wrestlers. Somebody wants to pick a fight with us, he better bite my ass. About halfway through the movie, I got pretty bored and looked up some reviews. And all of them kept mentioning this battery pack. And I had no idea what they were talking about. Lo and behold, I look up from my phone. Hey, <laughs> And they sit on this shot, not once, but twice. This is unbelievable. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't these the same joints they use on talk shows to enhance people's audio? When the Rose Gang has to save Kim from a hanging, someone shoots the rope, and we cut to, I shit you not, a two second cameo of Mario Van Peebles. What the hell was that? A literal decade ago, in 1993, Mario Van Peebles starred in a movie called Posse. That movie is set in 1898, so the timelines do match up, but Van Peebles is never mentioned, never referenced, and when Kim talks smack on her friends like, who missed that first shot? Van Peebles' character never comes up. Every now and then we'll see this mysterious woman in black pop up. It's Macy Gray. She finds Chastity's gun with her name painted on it like a kid's school lunchbox. If Chastity cared enough to put her name on it, why would she leave it behind? Me? No, no! So that heist I mentioned earlier that left that innocent person dead, that was Macy Gray's sister. So she's looking for revenge against the Rose Gang. What revenge is that exactly? Well, she kills Kim, who I didn't realize died because there's no blood or bullet wounds. In fact, there is no real choreography. Just point your guns this way, that way, to the window, to the wall. Back to Macy Gray. She follows the last three members of the Rose Gang 
And instead of finishing them off, she talks to herself like, yeah, now we're even. And leaves. Why did you? It's like, why did you come here? And look at this awesome shot of the horse just taking a shit. <laughs> Which sums up this movie quite nicely. When Rachel finally finds Bobby Brown and the girl who killed her sister, she shoots Bobby in the epic final resolution to Rachel avenging her sister is a cut to black gunshot. No fight scene, no interesting monologue, no struggle. That's it. It's just over. John Claw La Macaroni, you suck, bro. <laughs> you worse than Chris Stokes. I'm done here. You got a right to pick a little fight with wrestlers. Somebody wants to pick a fight with us. He better bite my ass. Oh my god. Gang of Roses is the perfect example of someone with a good idea for a puzzle with no clue how to put the pieces together. John Claw Lamari Stoudemire had no idea how to flesh out characters, how to pace a story, or how not to show modern technology in your western movie. There is a sequel to Gang of Roses, but man, Amber Rose, I, I don't know, this, this shit sucks. <laughs> Let me know if y'all want the sequel. And that was Gang of Roses. Y'all stay frosty. I'm out.